<clears throat> hey guys, so my music room is basically done and I just wanted to show you some uh, lighting and fan updates, I think. Not really any fan updates, but, you know, just general updates. It's the first uh, room that we pretty much have completed, I think. I mean, the bedroom's basically done, but it's, uh, you know, there's still stuff to unpack and stuff like that. And, you know, <clears throat> so this is... You know, staying here, my wardrobe with the hats on top and shoes, and then my suits and my planer blazers. This pile of stuff is all going upstairs, some empty boxes. This is like tools and parts and stuff that were packed in with other stuff that go in the garage. Some extra tubs, that's my wife's stuff that ended up down here. My guitar format I got from Habitat. Um, this rack is where I'm going to hang uh, clothes that, like needs to do something so like this I've got this stuff is all going to the tailor then in here okay so I still got to get these carpets straight is that a spot on this on my brand new carpet that would make me sad I like this carpet a lot um so my guitars are all just stashed down here for now and we'll see how that's gonna end up but I think that should work okay and I got all my dress shirts in here got a motion sensing LED light that you just saw pop on so that lights up the back and then one of the track lights Lights it up too, so that's a pretty good system. Um, laundry room isn't done. I got some shelves to go over the toilet, but they're buried in the garage. I got other storage stuff. Um, so yeah, Prince clock is the only thing hanging on the walls yet. That's the one thing I haven't done is hang stuff on the walls, and that's waiting for um, to see what we're gonna hang in the living room because whatever music stuff doesn't go in the living room is gonna go down here. So these shelves are still mostly empty which is good. I've got room to put more stuff there. This is just cufflinks, gloves, and just some like random stuff that I use for my electronics and clothes. There's some armor all, which I use to clean shoes, dust remover for electronics, and lens cleaner, stuff like that. So um, this little shelf so this is our Alexa, you guys have seen those or maybe have them, and my father-in-law, who is Mr. Gadget, he has every new phone and gadget every time it comes out, so he ordered us one of these before they were even, like, available, like, it was pre-ordered for us, and, uh, <clears throat> and then he just bought a second one, um, again, this is all, like, not even, like, asking us to see if we need it, he just, you know, sends it, which is, I mean, it's very cool and very generous of him, uh, you know, I never would have thought to get either one, so I guess it's a good thing he didn't ask, because I absolutely love it. I uh, was just telling Nia that I want to get one for every room now. It's not, you know, you can see it's kind of just plugged in sloppily, because I move it from room to room um, while I'm working. I've used it in the garage, and I've used it down here, and I've used it in the living room. Although less in the living room, since there's a TV with a Roku in there. Basically, I use it for entertainment, uh, wherever there is no TV. I just say, Alexa, play Prince. Oh, she's going to do it now. Damn it. Alexa, stop. I was in the middle of, of listening to some stand-up comedy, and uh, now I'm, I'm gonna, I've lost my place in that comedy, so I'll never find out what happened with Gabriel Iglesias and with Matthew McConaughey. Um, so, uh, yeah, I love that, and um, if we have enough of them that I don't have to move it from room to room, then I'll you know, probably find a, an actual official place for it. The reason it's right here is because that's where one of my exposed power strips are. I always put exposed power strips next to anywhere where I sit. So next to the couch, next to my recliner, um, next to this chair, next to the computer desk. So that if I'm in that, you know, if I'm sitting there, I can plug in a phone charger and a laptop without having to reach for an outlet. Um, this shelf, well, you can see I changed the glass on this lamp here. I'm a little sad to get rid of that lily glass, but the colors didn't go with anything in the room. And the shape of the glass only went with this. And both Nia and Jonas said the same thing, that this is like a sculpture, this is an accent piece, this is not a lamp, and so it can be its own thing. But the colors in this glass go much better with the leaded glass, so that's what I did there, and you can see I have the other one there. And what I did is I took that, that lamp that had two, you know, sockets, and took it apart and just made it a one-socket lamp. And so, you know, that's working. This is just some miscellany... Here, I don't, this was just a basket of stuff that was in my uh, office room in the old place. I haven't even gone through it yet. Some empty DVD holders. This is my bag of guitar, extra guitar cables and studio cables and stuff like that. These, let's see. 
This is shoe cleaning supplies. What's in this bottom box? Let's find out, because why not? This is like shoe polish and stuff like that. Because I do polish my shoes. Okay, this is... Oh. Just more miscellany. Old credit cards. It's mine, but I don't remember ever having that. Coupons. So this is just like a junk drawer box, I guess. I didn't even realize this was here. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, we'll figure that out. But this is just, you know, that kind of shelf for miscellaneous stuff. Okay, well, I got to put all this back in here. Because then over there is all my extra guitar pedals, the ones that I don't tour with. You know, the ones that are superfluous. And, uh... Then, on top of them is my, like, extra guitar strings and stuff like that. Just other guitar-related parts and things. It's hard to... There we go. So, yeah. It's not the neatest-looking thing, but it works. For, I, I'm not bothered by it. So, then there's my chofa. There's my lamp, which I've shown you. I've replaced the shade. And tucked back behind it, there are some more spare shades back there. Our wireless routers back there. So... Um, in here is just electronics, like, you can't really see it, computer cords and stuff like that. Those kind of electronics. This is all guitar stuff. I can't remember what guitar stuff, but they're sorted. One of them is, like, parts, like, uh, pi uh, pickups and stuff like that. One of them is tools for working on guitars. You know, this is all just guitar-related. There's straps. You get the idea. I have all my guitar stuff pretty neatly sorted. And I should label those boxes. I will one day. So. And then. I bought this little thing at the thrift store. Uh, pens and checkbooks and our marriage license. That kind of junk drawer. USB cables for like phones and stuff. Earbuds, phone cases, and thumb drives. And then I have one empty drawer. Over here is uh, dress-up jeans, dress-up shirts, like not like like not like dress shirts, but like let's see if this, is this a is this a good shirt or this is yeah like that kind of stuff like graphic tees and stuff like that. And this is my uh, external hard drives are all in there. We do have a lot of those. So this is what I have set up so far for electronics. Um, I uh, so. Well, I'll download it quickly. See if that's any good. Um, I went to hook up my desktop computer, and it beeped when I tried to hook it up, which, according to Todd, means that either the CPU or the video card uh, is either loose or failing. And I tried to reseat them both, and I didn't fix it, so I'm going to let Todd work on that and see. Um, really, this is my backup laptop, and I use that more than anything for studio stuff. Um, so I don't need the desktop. But I'd like to have it. It's useful to have a desktop computer. So I got that set up. The, not the desktop computer. And that's why there's a big pile of wires down there. Because that's all the stuff that hooks up the desktop. You know, that'll all be straightened out. If I get the desktop fixed. If I don't, I'll clean out all the stuff. And this will be a desk for other things. Power strip again. I always keep one by. So over here is my uh, interface. For hooking... Uh, Hooking up to the computer for a guitar or anything really. You can put the two mics, two line ins, etc. So I use one of the line ins and go to this guitar preamp pedal. I tried a bunch of different guitar preamp pedals. I have a bunch of different guitar preamp pedals, and this is the one I normally record with. Um, it's an inexpensive Behringer, but it does the job very well. Um, then here's my headphone amplifier. And so when I record guitar, all I need to do is plug my pedal board into this, plug the pedal board down there, and then I can record guitar. And I need to, I can't find my headphones, they must have got lost during the move, so I ordered another set of studio headphones from, uh, Amazon. And then so far, I got another one of these empty, which is good, because I'm going to need the space. Over here, one of these has socks in them, that's why these socks are just sitting on top, i got to figure out which one. So I got scarves and handkerchiefs, ties, and then there's another bin of ties, and a bin of socks, like dress socks down there. And, uh, I got my guitar... Rugs. I'm still waiting on them to take a nice sweet time fully rolling out. 
But, uh, yeah, so the only other thing i got to do besides the desktop computer is uh, just decide if I want to use a hard chair here or if I want to use my other stool. I have two of those stools. And I could just have one there and one there, or I've got a bunch of these hardback chairs. I don't want a rolling chair or a soft chair because when I'm recording guitar tracks, I want to be sitting on something hard. And there's a good chance I'll just be sitting right there to do the guitar tracks. So, uh, yeah, that's how the music room turned out. I'm very pleased with that. Um, not really anything new in here, other than since you saw the lamps last. I put the space heater over here, because this is by far the coldest room in the house. But, um, it probably won't get used much in the winter. This will be Abby's room when she's here, and she's here in the summer. Uh, so, you know, we probably won't need the space heater, but why not put it there? Um, yeah, I'm very pleased with how everything's set up. So I showed you the changes in the lamps. Um... So I got my recording gear set up, which is very simple. I have a very simple recording rig so that I can, if I want, if I'm on the road and I want to do a session, I can do a session straight from the road. All I got to do is, uh, you know, bring the little interface and the preamp with me. I don't even need the headphone amp, but it's helpful. So, other thing I did is I ordered what's called a Neo ventilator. It's essentially a simulated version of a Leslie speaker. And so that way I can record organ tracks without using the Leslie. Because there'd be two ways to record organ tracks. One would be to mic the Leslie, you know, like like it was in an isolation booth. And the other way would be to take a, a direct out from the organ. And that's what I'm going to do. And so uh, then there'll be the, the, the organ will have a direct out to the Neo ventilator. And then the Neo ventilator will also hook to the interface. Although since it's a stereo interface, it'll use both channels. The guitar preamp only uses one channel. Um... So yeah, I'm very excited. I ordered that. I should get here sometime this week, and then it'll just be up to Todd when we come and hook it up. So the Leslie's not going to serve any purpose for recording. It'll be muted for recording. The Leslie is just for practicing. I, well, I can practice with the ventilator with headphones, too. Um, so the Leslie really just is here just for when I want to play, you know, in the room. Um, so yeah, that's uh, how things are shaping up down here. I really like the brass track lighting. I still don't like the brass track lighting next to the antique brass fan, but I don't dislike it enough where I felt motivated to change it for the antique brass track lighting. So I guess it's staying. You know, I'm waiting on somebody whose opinion I trust to be like, dude, you got to try the antique brass. Um, but if that doesn't happen, I'm not even going to try it. I don't think. I think I'll just get used to it. You know, or heck, I'll put one of the I'll put that last polished brass one in the oven so it'll darken a little bit. That wouldn't be a good idea because the plastic would melt. If I could just get the metal part, that would actually work. But, uh, thank you. So, yep. I've showed you all the things. And, uh, yeah, the other thing I gotta decide is am I gonna set up some studio monitors over here? I normally just use headphones. And then I have this JBL powered speaker system, uh, that goes to the desktop computer. It's not accurate at all, so it would just be a chance to listen back the way that, you know, other people might listen back. Um, I definitely have some studio monitors that I could hook up, but I just don't know if it's necessary, and they take up a lot of space. They're not like new, modern, tiny ones. They're big, old, wooden ones that sound amazing. So, and I, did I show you my little uh, mini breeze set up there? I don't know how we ended up with two. I know Nia has, well, three, really, because Nia has one at work. So how did we end up with two at home? I know I got one for me, and then she got one and took it to work, but how did we get a third? I don't remember, but I'm certainly not complaining. And I, uh, you know, don't know if I'll hook them up or not, because they're not really necessary with the ceiling fan right there. But, yeah, we'll see. So yeah, the next time I do a video down here, most likely will be when I put stuff on the walls, and I can show you that. Uh, unless you count just doing a video tour of more things, you know, because... If I do, you know, changes to other areas, I'm sure I'll show this area too. But otherwise, this area is pretty much done. And uh, like I said, I'm very happy. You know, I, it's my first space that's just, like, it's a me space. You know, it's got clothes, and it's got uh, music stuff, and it's got electronics, and it's got very vintage lighting and fans, and it's got wood paneling. Um, and like I said, all that it needs is a bunch of, you know, music stuff on the walls. Nia's idea of hanging guitars on the walls would be the coolest thing, but then the, that wouldn't be good for the guitars. So, 
you know, we'll have to make do with music posters and stuff like that. And like I said, that'll be some weeks in the future um, because I want to do... Even though there's some stuff that's... De I know the Bowie poster's going down here. I know the Stevie poster's going down here. I know that, um, you know, there's certain stuff that's definitely going down here. Um, I don't know where it's going until I figure out all what I have to work with. So we're still going to you know, do the living room first. So, uh, there you have it. There's the updated music room. And uh, thanks for watching.